<laughs> Over there, hiding behind a bush. <laughs> the tiger, kids, is like nature's own pantry. And what is the richest, most filling time to be in the forest? What time? Lunch time? No. <laughs> the most generous time is the autumn season. Autumn in Taiga. I hate autumn. Leo, move over. Snake! There's a snake! Snake? Snake! Ah! There's a snake! Where? Over there, under that tree! Right! So huge and angry! It almost bit off my tail. Tig, are you sure you saw it? Of course I'm sure. I almost lost my tail. <laughs> you chickens. You got scared of an empty snakeskin. Come over here. Do not be afraid. Mappa, so the snake is now crawling around completely naked? Like a plain earthworm? But why? No, kids, no. The snake sheds its old skin and crawls out of it, wearing a new one. Huh. That's a neat trick. I wish I could do that. Whenever your coat gets dirty, all you gotta do is take it off and carry on. <laughs> Mappa Pandiga, how did the snake learn to shed its old skin? Mmm, that's a very interesting story. <clears throat> Have a seat and listen. Once upon a time, there lived a great snake, the king of all snakes. But he grew very old and couldn't see well or even crawl anymore. So the great snake ordered his subjects to find a cure for old age. The snakes shot off in all directions. They searched every deep crevice and every underground cave, but found nothing. The last one to come back was the whip snake, carrying a secret root. The great snake ate the root and crawled out of his old skin. Once again, he was young, strong, and healthy. The great snake was very happy. After that, he made it so that a shiny trail is left wherever the whip snake crawled. Mappa Pandiga, what was the name of that magical root? Oh, that root was Jinsu. Ha <laughs> ha! The sun! Finally! <laughs> Mappa Pandiga, let's go to... Let's uh, eat some grapes. Oh, oh, I'm a little under the weather. Oh, and my back hurts. Mappa Pandiga, what's wrong with you? <gasps> Poor Mappa Pandiga. It looks like he came down with something. We have to help him. Totally. But how? I know how. We are going to find that magical root. Remember? It can cure everything. Right, Leo. Let's go find that... Uh, Singji. Uh, but where do we find it? Oh, is this it? No, Teak. This is a Manchurian walnut. Haven't you listened to anything Mappa told us? We have been looking for this root for an hour. Maybe the thing doesn't exist. I think I found it. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, wow. It's like in a fairy tale. These marks are left by the whip snake. We could track him down. Right, and then ask him to help find the magical root. To cure our mappa. This must 
be the whip snake's lair. I don't think that whip snake is home right now. So let's just get out of here. No, we came here to get ginseng for our mappa, and we need to find it. Leo, what if there's no ginseng here either? Don't say that. Of course there is, and we'll find it. Well then, I'm just gonna wait for you guys here. I don't like swamps. I mean, I'm allergic. Huh. a leech here. Which one of you is the most delicious? No, no! We don't taste good at all! Yeah, I'm bitter and sour. Silly kids. Why would you march into the swamp? We're really <sighs> sorry. We just needed the magical root. It's for a good cause. To help someone. <coughs> Our Mappa Pandiga, he got really sick. You know Mappa Pandiga? Right, I remember him as he was still a bear cub. Well, hop on. I'll give you a ride. Wait. Take it, and say hello from me to Mappa. We sure will, Mr. Whipsnake. Thank you, Mr. Wise Whipsnake, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Snake. See you later. See you. to climb this mountain when we could be at home right now playing games. And look, look at the sky. I think it's gonna rain. I really hate autumn. Okay, we've arrived. Look at how majestic oh, so Al-Qaeda is in autumn. Woohoo! The view <laughs> is 
Can not only give you food, but also medicine. Like that. <laughs> hi, everyone. Glad to oh, see hi, you. Oh, hi, Mila. We're off to get more branches. You stay here and keep watch. Uh-huh. Uh, I got it. We've been gathering these branches all day long. If we keep going, the trees will be bare. I'm guarding the fortress. I'm guarding the fortress. I'm gu... Who am I guarding it from? <laughs> all right. The spotty and the stripey went away. Hey, get on over here now, Shorty. <laughs> this is our meadow now, with all its raspberries. What do you mean it's yours? The meadow is public, and the fortress is ours. <laughs> it used to be, but not anymore. <laughs> Martins, attack! Get her! No! <laughs> I'm not afraid of you! <laughs> oh, dear me! <laughs> Shoot down that, uh, butterfly! Hey! Bush Leaguers! <laughs> you can't get me! Whoa! You missed! Ah. Oh, that was slow. <laughs> Try again, guys! Oh, you're all alone now. <laughs> Go! <laughs> She's not alone. Ah, the spotted one. This is our fortress. It used to be. It's not anymore. So I've been carrying these branches for nothing? Martins, attack! <laughs> ah, oh. You hear that? I hope you learned your lesson! And don't try to scare <laughs> me again! I can't believe this. We got beaten by the spotty and the stripey. Shame on our heads. <gasps> Look here. This is Beals's lair. Well, well, I've got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Mmm, raspberry. Nice, sweet raspberry. Lots of it. Lots of it. 
And then Mila screams, attack them! <laughs> Did you see me? I grabbed one of them. Boom! And that was it. The fight was over. And I'm like, don't you come back. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome! <laughs> That'll teach you not to get in our way. It's our meadow now, with raspberries and everything. So, hey, guys, does it mean that our meadow and our fortress, all of that is gone? Calm down, Mila. We'll get it all back. Yeah, sure we will. Wait, Leo, did you see it? <laughs> We're not strong enough. We can't beat Beals. I think I know someone who can help us. Uh, dear Mr. Beals, <laughs> we, we had a deal that half of the raspberries would be ours. Okay, okay. <laughs> we get it. We totally get it. We do. We totally do. We're leaving already. Run! <laughs> 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 oh, no, kids. <laughs> I'm a bit too old to fight the brown bear. You were our only chance to beat him. Leo, let's give up and go to the river. Wait a minute. Mappa Pandiga? So there's no animal in the forest stronger than the brown bear? Huh. Once upon a time, brown bears had no reason to doubt that. There was no animal stronger than them. So the brown bear grew vain and started to abuse his power, doing bad things. But for every power, there's an even stronger power. The spirit of the tiger always has his children's back. What do we do now? Search for the spirit of Tyga again so he chases Beals away? No. We'll get him ourselves. Okay. Mila, I need you to distract Beals. And Cuba, sneak up on his right side. <laughs> you! Tig! Look at who decided to visit us. Shush! That glutton kicked us out. He promised to share the raspberries with us. <laughs> Let me guess he didn't. Sure enough! Okay. Right now, we need to join forces and chase him away. Well, are you with us? For sure. We're with you. But we go 50-50 on the raspberries. <laughs> Right, we found it first. <laughs> oh! Who do you think you are destroying our fortress? Go away right now! Oh, I get it. You want to show me something? You're home. Why don't you go back inside? Oh, I see. There's something blocking it. Mm, yeah. Don't sting me now. <laughs> are you saying thank you? Huh? Mila's in danger! Bees, will you help me? Please? <laughs> Throw more! Throw more! Oh, we ran out of pine cones! Ouch! <sighs> oh, oh no!
Yes! He came here to help us! <laughs> but how did he know? That's right! Run away! Go on! Run faster! The spirit of Tyga's gonna get you! <laughs> Bye, bees! Thank you for helping! You go defeat another enemy! For his valor and outstanding flying, Marty is rewarded... ...with a delicious raspberry! <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are good raspberries. <laughs> 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 Keeping up. I just. I wanted to breathe some fresh air. I've heard it's good for your health. Whew. In that case, can you breathe a bit faster? We're running late for Mappa. <sighs> hi there, Mila. Oh, hi, guys. Perfect timing. I had a nut roll under these roots. Can you help me get it out? Pretty please. Mila, have you seen the size of my paws? Look! They're huge! They won't fit in there! Mila! Sorry, but Mappa is waiting for us. We'll definitely help you, but later! <sighs> the story of a hero. So today, children, I'm going to tell you the story... <laughs> about the Nightingale's song. But Mappa Pandiga, Nightingale's again? Can you tell us something heroic? That's right, like about battles and stuff. <laughs> heroic, <laughs> about battles and stuff. Okay, I've got something for you. It took place a long time ago. Back then, all animals in the forest lived peacefully together. No one hurt anyone. But then, something bad happened. From a faraway land, a great pack of wolves came to the taiga. The wolves were vicious and bloodthirsty, and pestered the lives of the forest residents. The animals lost their peace. They got together for a council to decide who was going to defend their home forest. But no one dared to challenge the fierce wolves. Only one animal, the strongest, fastest, and bravest of all, stood up to the wolves. The battle continued throughout the night. It was tough on our hero, but he never backed down and chased the wolves out of the forest. Woohoo! He really showed them wolves. Huh. Oh, Mappa Pandiga! So who was that hero? A leopard, right? Why would you think it's a leopard? It was a tiger for sure. Some say it was a leopard. Some talk about a tiger. It was a long time ago. Well, children, go now, and I'm... gonna have a nap. <laughs> Tig! Let's play the hero game! Okay, Tig. I'll be the hero, and you'll be the wolf. Go ahead, try to howl! <clears throat> howl! No, that's not working. It doesn't sound like a wolf. Sounds like a chipmunk. You are the chipmunk. Chipmunk. <gasps> Tig, try to howl in here. Wow. Awesome, Tig. You're totally a wolf now. Leo, hold on. How come I have to be the wolf? I want to be the hero. Oh, no. The hero was a leopard. But Mappa said that... Mappa just didn't want to get you upset. Maybe he didn't want you to get upset. Everyone knows that the hero was a tiger. Because tigers are stronger than leopards. Stronger? Whatever. The leopard is agile. No, I disagree. I play the hero or not at all. Tig, let's make a deal. Whoever's the first to the top gets to be the hero. 
Okay, you got a deal. Hey, that's not fair! Well, don't be so slow then. <laughs> Try and catch up! <laughs> Wanna give up? Lil! Try to keep up! I'll be right back. I need to show Tig who the real hero is, and then I'll come back. Mila, have you seen Leo? Yeah, he ran that way. Tig, will you help me? This is a bad time, Mila. I need to beat Leo first, then I'll come back. Stay where you are, don't go anywhere. How could I go anywhere? <laughs> Look at that! A weasel! Poor thing got trapped! Shall we help her? Uh-huh, yeah! And also have a lunch! <laughs> <laughs> well, who's the hero now? Huh? Well, hero, wanna give up? Heroes never give up! <laughs> I should go first. <laughs> That's Mila! Something happened. Let's go! Ah! Here! Take that! Ah! Shoot! How do you like that? Stop that right now! How about this? Ah! Ah! This is not gonna help you anyway! That's fine. You are about to run out of those pine cones. Yeah, no more pine cones. <laughs> Leave me alone right now, or I'll. Oh, more food. Come over here, my delicious. <laughs> Who did you call food, huh? Leo, let's show them. <laughs> Grab him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's just throw them out of here. <laughs> we already have less spicy food. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Get away from me. Don't. <laughs> Boss, what was that? Wolves? Nonsense! What wolves are you talking about? Angry and hungry. <gasps> Boss, they're here! It's definitely wolves! All right, let's leave. It's better to stay out of their way. <laughs> you got lucky, weasel. Uh, oh, oh, oh. This time... Leo, you have to be very careful. Wolves are coming. It's okay, Mila. There are no 
wolves, it was all taking me. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. <gasps> you sounded just like real wolves. <laughs> I even got a little bit scared. <laughs> Here's that nut. Thank you, guys. You know, you are my heroes. Tig, I've got an idea. Maybe the hero that chased away the wolves wasn't alone. Maybe there were two of them? Yeah, that's right. A tiger and a leopard. We can both be heroes. And Mila can be the wolf. Let's go play. <laughs> hey, why me? I don't want to be the wolf. Wait, guys, come on. That's not fair. Leo, Tig. Little feet. And then the fox started chasing the little hare away. <laughs> Leo, check it out. The fox, just like a real one. Oh, Mila, seriously. Tig, don't interrupt. Mila, go on. Come on, show us what happened next. But the little hare <laughs> didn't get scared of the fox. <laughs> Look at that hare. He didn't get scared. <laughs> what a big hero. Monster! Run! Uh, hey, Mila, is this also part of your performance? No. Hey, careful! Oh, my Mica! Ah, you lot running! Not watching your steps! Elsa! Thank you. So what happened exactly? Elsa! Elsa's coming! Oh, that's Elsa! He is so enormous! He's a hero! He saved our little boy! Yay! What now? A hero? Hero! Where? Hero! He's hero! safe! So what now? I'm a hero? <laughs> you hear that, Leo? I'm apparently a hero! <laughs> sure you are, Tig! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Come to her. What is this? Oh, your wiseness is the first heroic deed. Oh, hero, you saved our beloved little boy. And that's why we'd like to invite you to a feast in your honor. Feast in my honor? This is so awesome. I'm a hero. Hero, hero, Tig. You can't be serious. Sure I'm serious. Just watch me. Come on, guys. Come to my feast tonight. Praise the hero. Praise hey, the you need hero. to be more careful carrying me. Praise Don't let the hero, hero fall, right? Oh, hero, take the courageous. Are you quite happy staying with us? Uh-huh. <sighs> it's a pity Leo can't see me right now. He would never believe this. <laughs> Ooh, is that my picture? Awesome! Now I have something to show Leo at the feast. Careful! Hey! Help me! Ooh, made it. That was a close one. Praise the hero! Oh, Praise come on, hero. it's nothing. Praise Seriously. The second deed! The second deed! Oh, your royal highness! It's the second heroic deed! Take this! Get out of here! The third deed! It's the third deed! Praise the hero! <laughs> That's Praise right. It's so much fun Praise being a hero. hero. Praise the hero! Oh, great hero Tig. <laughs> the legend's telling the truth. You came back to us again. The legend? <laughs> what kind of legend? An ancient legend. It happened a long, long time ago. 
weak and small was the Lemming tribe, afraid of everything. Anyone could hurt us. But most of all, our tribe was afraid of the forest monster. Every year, the monster would come to our pantry and plunder it. The lemmings then started to pray. Oh, great spirit of Tiger, we are small and need your protection. The spirit of Tiger heard them and promised to send down a hero. But the lemmings didn't recognize him right away. Only after he performed three heroic deeds, they realized he was the hero. The lemmings lowered their heads before the hero and told him about their troubles. The hero then went out and made the forest monster go away. That's awesome! What happened then? And then the hero left. But he said that if the forest monster would ever start bullying the tribe again, he will come back and we will recognize him by three heroic deeds. And now he's here. Yeah? So is he. <laughs> it's you, oh great hero. Praise the hero! Praise and now the when hero! you are here, you will chase Praise away the, the scary forest monster. Praise the hero! Heh, <laughs> not a problem. So who's your monster then? A uh, chipmunk or something? <laughs> chipmunk? <laughs> no, it's actually a little bigger. Actually, I'm talking about Beelza. Beelza? <laughs> Beelza. You know what? I'm... I'm not ready to be a hero. I'm not hero material, really. I think you should find someone else, okay? Lemmings, the hero has to perform a heroic deed! Hero! 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 Hey, what are you doing? Let me go! Praise the hero! Praise I don't want to be your hero. hero! Praise the hero! Hey, you! Let me out of here, you hear me? I need to go home now! Praise, Praise the, the hero! hero. I mean, I'll be back in the evening in time for heroism. Come over here. I saved your life. It's your turn to help me. Go find my friends. Please? Okay. <laughs> Cuba, catch! <laughs> you missed! <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Did you just say cage? Go back and start from the beginning. Hero! 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 Why did I decide to become a hero? I could be at home right now with Leo. Hero! 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 Lemmings! The time of heroism has come! Leo, my friend, where are you? Hero! Do you feel that you're ready to fight the forest monster? No, the hero's ready. <laughs> Good luck, hero. We believe in you. some kind of agreement? Okay, this is the end. Tig, don't be scared. I'm here. Leo, buddy, oh, you're here. You here to save me? Yes, Tig, I have a plan. Leo, are you trying to blind him? Is that your plan? Patience, Tig. The performance is only getting started. Leo, a monster! Oh, this is it! Goodbye, my friend. It 
wasn't me. Uh, where did it go? The scary monster. <laughs> Here's your scary monster, Tig. <laughs> wow, guys, that was something. What a great idea you came up with. Even Beelza got scared of you. It's you who deserve to be called heroes. Oh, greatest of heroes. Oh, no, we're not your heroes. We were simply saving Tig. He's our friend. And the thing we used to scare away Beelza is Micah. Oh, in that case, in that case, let's have a feast to honor Micah. And friends! And friends! <laughs> the Micah and Friends Day. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> oh, your wiseness. Leo, I did perform three heroic deeds. <laughs> Didn't I? Oh, Tig, you're hopeless. <laughs> Off with the feathered ones. See what all the buzz is about. You stop your chittering right away. We can't get no sleep. Shoot, shoot. Pipe down, you hear me? Who's flopping their trap this early in the morning? We did, did it. it. Quiet. Stop yapping. Hey, you. Seems to me like it's you who's yapping here. And the birds are singing. No one can sing this nice in the whole forest. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Shoe feather freaks get moving. Your presence here, we're disapproving. Messing with my sleep, who? Well, I say shoe. Sing now, birdie, sing the song. Sing about the thing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Shoe feathered one shoe. This is our forest, not yours. You disturb our sleep, so once again, shoo! Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. This is our forest, ours only. Feathered ones need to go! Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you sing? Sing and whistle, do a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest flowers <laughs> need to hear just how lovely you can sing. This is our forest, not yours! You disturb our sleep, so shoot now! This forest is not all yours, so stop being so bossy! Leave our feathered neighbors alone! Well, how about this, huh? And this! What are you doing? Stop it right now! <laughs> I'm the boss around here, you all got that? Is that right? Well, you're not the boss of me! Yeah? <laughs> we run this forest. You all got that? I don't think so. Uh -oh. <laughs> Come on, you all got nothing on us. <laughs> Take this, you striped wool sack. What? I'm going to show you. <laughs> Wait, I have no time for you right now. Leo, check your six. Watch out. Oh, ah, oh. stop it. Cut it out right now. <laughs> the birds are leaving. <laughs> Can we have a time out? <laughs> What's this? You give up? Now you know who's the boss around here. Not you. You just wait and see. Everyone, get back to the base. It's time to drop our battle plan.
Tig and Yara, you wait over here. Mila, you run over here and draw them into a trap. Rose, no! No, they can't be! My mom told me... Where did they come from? That they, that they sucked the blood out of everyone! Oh, no! How terrible! What do we do? Let's run to Mappa. He must know. Squiggers! Ah. These are squeaky mosquitoes! Oh, Grab the pine branches! Oh. Get to the cave! Ah. Yes! So now are we going to have to stay in here forever? Why forever? In winter, the squeaky mosquitoes go to sleep. Mappa Pandiga, what sort of squeakers are these anyway? And what are these mosquitoes? Good oh boy. My great-grandfather told this story to my grandfather. One day, the spirit of the tiger's own brother, Amber, was visiting him. But Amber was so evil that the animals of the tiger didn't want anything to do with him. It made Amber very angry, so he made up his mind to punish the animals. He summoned swarms of mosquitoes, squeaky mosquitoes, for animals had nowhere to hide. They went to complain to the kind spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger asked Tiger to deal with the mosquitoes. <laughs> tiger couldn't do a thing. The squeaky mosquitoes were too small and too fast. Then the spirit of the tiger sent Leopard to fight them. And then Wolf. But they returned empty handed. Then a little birdie flew to him and said, Can I try? The spirit of the tiger agreed. You can, my friend. The birdie unleashed a mellifluous song, summoning the birds. Answering the boisterous call, the birds filled the sky, their wings flapped with vigor, and their beaks snapped with thunderous might. Not a day passed when the mosquitoes disappeared. The squeaking mosquitoes were gone. I know what we need to do. We gotta get all those birds back to the forest. I just don't know how we're gonna do it. We hurt them really bad. So that explains why there's so many mosquitoes in the taiga. <gasps> okay, what did you guys do to the birds? Well, we first tried to defend them from the martins. We really stuck it to them and made things much worse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, come, the spirit of the tiger, come to us. Us, spirit of the tiger, and help us. Help us lest the tiger dry up and become a desert. Go on, go on. Oh, the great spirit of the tiger, please help us to bring back the birds to our forest. We'll always treat them well and never harm them. And we will protect them with our lives. And I beg you, the great spirit of the tiger, please. I miss hearing them sing so much. We will cherish each one of them. We'll never take them for granted. Great spirit of time!
I get it now. It all makes sense now. The mosquitoes are scared of the birds. Build your nest. Go on, build them. The best spots are right here, next to our home, our hollow. Here, here, and over here. Sing now, birdies, sing this song. Sing out loud, let's sing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you see? Watch this. I got this. I am going to hit it on the first try. <laughs> you missed. It's all it's all because of the wind. <laughs> sure, the wind. <laughs> well, let me give that another shot. <laughs> Something always gets in Tig's way. A foundling. Huh? Look at what I found. It was there in the sand. Oh, an egg. I wonder who it belongs to. And, oh, I wonder who's going to pop out of it. Or, or what's going to pop out of it. For something to pop out of it, one of us will have to sit on it first. So, Tig, go ahead. <laughs> sit down. Uh, why do I have to do it? Because you, my friend, are the most fluffy and the most pillowy. Curious. Do you think it could be a duck? <gasps> Maybe a stork. I heard that snakes also hatch from eggs. Ow! What in the? The snake bit me! Relax, will ya? It's just a little turtle. Oh, look how cute it is. <gasps> He's so precious. <laughs> Tig can't tell a baby turtle from a snake. <laughs> oh, come on, Leo. I was just kidding a bit. Scared you, didn't I? <gasps> Ooh, a meal! <gasps> A vulture! <laughs> oh, a three course meal! Hurry into the forest! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Phew, that was too close. <laughs> Hey, guys! Look over here! Our little turtle glued his fingers together. Maybe he's a little weird? I got it! That must be why the other turtles ditched him. Oh, poor baby. We'll take really good care of you. Isn't that right, boys? Of course we will. Know what? I'm going to make a true tiger out of him. Why, a tiger, huh? He could become a great leopard. Ooh, I will call you a little baby T. <laughs> Remember, baby T, tiger is the tiger's king. <laughs> we got a king. Don't interrupt, Leo. T. Do you know why everyone is afraid of tigers? Because they are really, really super fierce. Roar! Make sense? Well, now you try. Come on, louder, like this. Roar! Enough, now it's my turn. Bear in mind, Baby T, that an ambush is the best way to overcome an enemy. 
We leopards are experts at this. Rawr! <laughs> It's not quite like a leopard, <laughs> but it's a good start. Ah! And who's that little precious angel in the bathtub, huh? <laughs> it's you, my little cutie patootie. Okay, baby T, your mission right what? now is to catch this dragonfly. And we tigers call this thing hunting. Now go! I think it's my turn to train little T now. No way! Because he's still not a real tiger yet. But he won't be. Because baby T will grow up to become the bravest leopard. Tiger, leopard, guys! Does it really even matter? He's just a baby! Oh, guys, guys! Wh wh where is T? You. Baby T, come out, say something. We're here. Nope, we'll never find him like this. We gotta split up. Tig, you go left. And Mila, you go right. I'll go straight ahead. Yoo-hoo, baby T. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, Mila. Where are you going in such a hurry? Mm. Oh, Mappa Pandiga. Hello, sir. We can't find our little baby T anywhere. Where's little T? What do you mean? Baby T. You know, the little turtle? He has these special sort of little feet, as if they're glued together. Nope. I haven't seen him. Also, what would a turtle with glued feet, as you say, be doing in the forest? Turtles live elsewhere. No way, but where? Well, let me tell you. A long while ago, all turtles used to live ashore. But one fateful day, spring came about and brought along high waters. One of the islands on the river became completely covered in water. Then the oldest and wisest turtle turned to the river and asked it to have pity on them teach her children and grandchildren how to swim. The river was deeply moved by her plea and gave all turtles webbed feet. But they still lay their eggs ashore so that before going into water, the little ones could get a chance to know where they came from, land, their first home. It is a memory they will cherish for the rest of their lives. And when a baby turtle comes into the world, it is guided to the water by the soul of that very wise turtle. So that means that T is a water dweller. Yoo-hoo! T, where are you? Say something! Uh, there's no sign of him. Guys, guys, listen up! It turns out that T is a water dweller. What, a water dweller? If that's true, then that must mean he... Yes, he's at the river. <gasps> but guys, the vulture. <laughs> My lunch order's here, with an extra crispy tortilla shell. <laughs> Baby T. Could you say that again? Didn't catch that. Keep your filthy beak off Baby T. <laughs> I'm so honored to have guests for dinner. <gasps> Run, T. Save yourself. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> 
to collect here. Why do you need so many, Martique? Well, it's for an important task. <sighs> Follow me, I'll show you. That's where our cedar pine grew. It burnt down. The spruce was here. Also burnt down. Yeah. The red deer spared no one. <laughs> and this is my home tree. Well, it was. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, old cedar, raise your voice. Quiet branches, don't be loud. Mark to hear is sleeping sound. Little squirrel, now you sleep tight. Close your pretty little eyes. lullaby that our tree sang to me. This tree? Sang it? <laughs> it's true. I heard it in the rustle of the leaves. Martique, what do you need the pine cones for? What do you mean? 
for the seeds. I'll collect a big pile of them. Then I'll plant them, and our forest will grow big again. Then you should have said so. And you really shouldn't be making up singing trees. Cuba, go on then. Get digging. We're planting a forest. Tig, wait. Do you know how long it will take them to grow? A century. There must be some faster way to do it. No, children, I don't know of a faster way. But I do know one legend. That was a long time ago. The tiger was visited by an enormous red deer and set the whole forest ablaze. The fire was so strong that even the spirit of the tiger himself got scared. The spirit hid in the last cone on the very top of the tallest cedar tree. The cedar started reaching for the sky to save the spirit of the tiger. The red deer couldn't reach the cone and he retreated. The cedar opened the cone its seeds were scattered, and wherever they hit the ground, a forest started to grow really fast. Because that cone had the magic power of the spirit of the tiger. Since then, the cedar has been here. They call it the Great Cedar, because it saved the tiger. That's the story, kids. Wow, Mappa Pandiga, I thought it was called great because it was really big. But as it turns out, it saved all of the taiga. Hmm. We must find a way to get to the highest cone. What if it's a magic one? Let's just plant regular seeds here. Tig is scared. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not scared. Tig, come on. We'll climb it somehow. That's what we have claws for. Huh? It might get windy. Ah, uh, what we should do is get the cone by throwing a stone. Hey, guys, up there, look! <laughs> Not far now. What do we do next, Leo? We'll scatter the seeds around from the top of the very tallest tree, like in the legend. That way, the seeds will be spread far and wide. The tallest tree here is my home tree. <laughs> ah! It's a monster! <gasps> Run! Ooh. Ooh. Look out! Why didn't you warn us about such a, such a... Because it wasn't Ugh. there. It must have appeared because of the fire. Did you see how black it was? I did. That's because he must be an ash monster. And he's here because he doesn't want us to plant the magic cone's magic seeds. What do we do? Make it leave. Take that and that and no. there. Against such a big, strong monster, we don't stand a chance. But I've got a plan. Listen. Hey, monster! Look what I've got. It's a magic pine cone. If you want it, come and get it! What? It's not magic. <laughs> and the magic cone goes to Martique. Martique, go on. <sighs> it's too high. Martique, be careful. <gasps> Someone's 
Done by the power of love. And if you have a magical pine cone, that also helps. Catch! Oh! Hey, Cuba! Catch! <laughs> Ew! Cuba, look, you're a real pig. <laughs> oh, Cuba, stop rolling around. Let's play. Cuba in love. What, you get stuck over there? <laughs> oh, look at that! A piggy! I haven't seen her before. I know her. I do. This is Lada. Her family just recently moved into our forest. <laughs> it looks like our Cuba has, you know, fallen in love. Ah, <laughs> uh, love. Love, I can see, my friend, that your heart was touched by a wonderful feeling. Why don't I tell you a love story? Once upon a time in the taiga, there lived a swan princess, a real beauty. She had three suitors. The first one dove to the bottom of the sea and got pearl. Look how well I can dive. I am the very best. Well, the second one flew to the top of the highest mountain and brought from the peak a precious gem. Look how high I can fly, princess. It's me who's the best. Now the third swan started to think. What present should he give to the princess? Well, he flew far and wide in search of a worthy present. He almost gave up. But one day, while flying over a glade, he spotted a snowdrop. He gave the snowdrop to the princess and told her that only the first flower of spring was worthy of her beauty. And the princess made her choice. She gave her love to the third swan. Because unlike the other two, he was thinking about her and not himself. Eh? So what? I don't get it. Cuba's got to give the girl a snowdrop then? It's not snowdrop season. It's not about snowdrops. <sighs> Don't be shy. All you have to do is go to your beloved and do something from the heart. Cuba, wait! Legends are great, of course, uh, but you're 
you know, no swan. You can't go meet her like that. I bet she won't even talk to you. Cuba, you're covered in mud from hooves to tail. Don't despair, Cuba. We can help you. I can't turn you into a swan, but a very handsome boar you could be, okay? That I can promise you. Whee! Whee! Cuba, hang on. Beauty always has a price. There you go, Cuba. Now you're the most handsome boar in the woods. Wait! We still aren't finished yet. Cuba, you're clean all right, but you're still... a little bit plain. You know? Don't you worry, buddy. Cause we're gonna dress you up. <laughs> better now. As good as a swan. <laughs> Remember, you, sir, are the fanciest boar in all of the taiga. Now go! <laughs> Cuba. Girls don't know anything about being beautiful. What if she's just not attracted to flashy looks? Right. How should we, I mean Cuba, try to win her over then? He should try to do something impressive. Heroic even. A feat. That's it. Cuba, how do you feel about fighting a wolf? How about crossing the rapids? Or would you <sighs> jump across a huge gorge? <sighs> it won't work, Leo. Cuba is afraid of everything. That's fine. I've got an idea for you. told you this wasn't going to work. Rich and 
tasty dessert. <laughs> Stay right there. Come on now, Cuba. Who cares? She's just some girl. She is bound to like you, you know. You are so, so... Get away from me. Phew. Looks like we're too late. I don't get it. So what? Did Cuba chase the wolf away? You would have chickened out, I bet. What? No way. A wise man once said, Be yourself, and you'll find someone's heart will open to you. <laughs> the Mysterious Guest I'm telling you, there's no way you can do it. You're a leopard. And leopards don't fly. But that's only because leopards don't have any wings. Or at least, not before today. Leo, what exactly do you need those wings for? What do you mean, what for? Come on, let's fly with the eagles. We'll be able to see the whole taiga. Aw, oh, Tig, come along with me. No, 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 no. I already flew with the eagles once before. That was plenty. If you say so, I'm going to fly. <laughs> You see, I told you so. Leopards don't fly. Maybe my wings are a little too small. I need some bigger leaves. Leo, stop picking leaves, would you? Let's just go and play. Tig. You go. I'll go later. All right. Come and play after you're done flying, <coughs> my feathered friend. Wow. Would you look at that? Tig! Tig! Wait up! Oh, Leo! Did you fly already? Tig, guess what I saw? Just now, in the sky, it was huge, with big wings. Was it an owl? No, it wasn't an owl. No way. It was this big thing that was flying and made of wood, and it landed just over there. <laughs> You're kidding me. You saw a wooden bird? You're too much, Leo. You spend too much time daydreaming about flying. You don't believe me? Okay, fine. I'll go and find it all by myself. Wow! There it is! The wooden bird! Yeah! This is definitely much better than leaves. Interesting. I wonder who made it. Whoa! Oh, and what's this? Footprints? They're so weird! Whose are they? What's this? What's this I smell now? It smells like a leopard cub. Hmm, and something else. Ah, something else new. Something that smells truly delicious. Tig, hurry up already. Come on, it's my turn now. 
Uh-huh. Hold on. Just a little more. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Tick, <sighs> you've been on the swing forever. We want to turn. There you are. I have something to tell you all. You'll never guess what I saw. A big bird made out of wood. It was gigantically huge. It was flying in the hold sky. Hold on, hold on. A giant flying bird made of wood. Ugh. Wait. Leo saw that as well. But I didn't believe him. Really? Where's Leo anyway? He went to the swamp to look for that big flying thing. He said that it went over there. In the swamp? Maba just told me that he was in the swamp and he saw the wolf. The wolf? Leo's there all by himself. Hurry, let's run. We have to warn Leo. Leo, Leo, wait. <laughs> Hey! <gasps> Hi there! <gasps> huh, that was awesome! What a big jump! Who are you? Uh, what do you want from me? Well, nothing. I'm Leo. I just saw your thing with wings flying in the sky. Why were you crying? I wasn't crying, okay? <laughs> we, monkeys of the Guardian Tribe, never ever cry. Hmm, who do we have here? Hmm. Oh, a little, little animal. Something that smells very appetizing. If it isn't my old friend, that's meeting you here. Ah. Hurry! Run! Ah. You're not getting away this time! Oh. Ah. This way! Jump up here! What's wrong? Can't you climb up? <laughs> Maybe not, but I can chew! Leo! 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 Where are you? Leo! Leo, where are you? <gasps> Those are my friends! Leo! They'll be here real soon! Leo, really? Is that so? You mean that chubby boar, the tasty weasel, the lynx, and the tiger cub? <gasps> ah, ah, that's excellent news. Oh no! Tig! Mila! Uh, do you think your friends can scare him off? We'll have to warn them! Yara! Kuba! Stay far away <laughs> from there! <laughs> you louder leopard cub! Then they'll get here even faster! <laughs> what do we do? I'll go and warn them. By the way, my name is Lily. <laughs> oh, uh? no matter. She probably won't taste good anyway. <sighs> but I won't let this leopard cub get away from me. Uh. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> This is it! It's the big wooden bird! That's the big thingamajig. But where's Leo? Well, maybe whoever flew this thing was the one who captured him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come clean. Where did you take Leo? Um, um... Give up! <laughs> You're going to break a tooth! <laughs> they say that eating a leopard is very bad luck. Whoever eats one loses all his fur. Huh? It's true. It's better to be hungry than bald. Ah! 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 Hold on, ah! Leo. Huh? We're coming. Uh. Ah! Uh, look, Tim. We're flying. Leo, hop on. I'm sorry. I should have believed you when you told me. It's okay. What matters is that we're flying! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, then. So tell us, Lily, how did you end up in our forest? Uh, uh, I sort of made a mistake. 
Since ancient times, our tribe of monkeys have guarded the treasure of the jungle. But one day, someone started hunting the treasure, and they almost stole it. So my father, the Monkey King, decided to hide the treasure of the jungle in a secret place on an island along a raging river. The only way you could get there is by flying over. And so my father built a big flying ship. And I, I really wanted to try it out. So one night when everyone was asleep, I climbed in and took off. I just wanted to try it out. But then there was a huge hurricane. The wind swept me up and carried me along for days. It only just died down today, but I had to find a place where I could land the flying ship because I couldn't turn it around by myself. And now all because of me, my home is in danger. <laughs> Be sad, dear little monkey. I think that I know a way to get you to your home. Really? Which way do I need to go? I've heard it said that the tribe of the little monkeys reside far, oh, so far to the south. You would have to fly for several days, so the morning sun is always shining down on you. As long as you travel with true friends, you will be safe, no matter where your journey takes you. But where am I supposed to find true friends? <sighs> Who's going to want to fly with me? We'll fly with you, won't we, guys? Yeah, we'll go. let's go. Listen, Lily. What kind of treasure is this treasure? It's a secret. Only the tribal elders know what it is. The only thing I know is that it supposedly works miracles. It could work miracles for me. That treasure's gonna be mine. We gotta get over there. Do you hear me? We gotta go. Before the spots and stripes get it, we gotta get over there. Spike, but tell me, how are we gonna do that? How do you think? by flying! <laughs> The Stone Flower. Oh, the moors. I think that's what this was. It's all smashed. It's all ruined. We can't fly with this big hole. We need to fix it. Okay, guys, let's split up. Mila, Yara, and Lily, go find some food and water. Tig and I will work on fixing the ship. <gasps> Leo, Leo, take a look. <gasps> oh. I am Taraval, the 82nd, uh... <laughs> How's it going? Uh, how's it going? I hereby accuse you. Hmm, okay. I hereby accuse you... Of a most terrible crime. <gasps> I know the rest. <laughs> of a most terrible crime. Who more? Take them into custody! But there are so many! In Kubor, Kubor's just one! Would you be so kind as to tell us what the crime is that we committed? Uh, uh, well, uh... uh. I can do it, Dayan. A long time ago, there came an era of a most terrible drought but not a single green leaf was left in the whole of the sacred eucalyptus grove. The entire koala tribe nearly starved, but one very brave koala decided to save them and go in search of water. The road was long and most difficult. 
difficult, and just when she thought that all was lost, a bright spark of light appeared, and she saw the scattering of stone flowers. When she broke it off, it began to rain. It watered the desert, and the desert began to bloom once again. Ever since then, the stone flower has been passed down from leader to leader. That's right. Or at least it was, until you decided to destroy my ancestral heritage. And that's exactly why we must punish you, strangers. By the way, Dayan, how exactly should we punish them? Uh, uh, hold on a sec. I want to go to the scattering of stone flowers. And if they are growing there, I will pick one for you. Then you won't have to punish anyone anymore. Leo, it's too dangerous. You don't even know the way. You'll get lost. No, I won't. Taraval can go with me. Or he can just give me a map. But uh, I don't know the way. The legend never mentioned that part. And maps? Oh, well, we don't have any maps. Uh, most wise one. Uh, there actually is. A map? But what map? Where is it? Right here. Oh, toot. Oh, toot. Well, well. So I guess we'll just follow the spots and stripes, and when they find the stone flower, we'll steal it from them. <laughs> hey, hey, shh. We are going to steal it. I said shh. Oh, got it. <laughs> Whoa! We haven't seen this before. Uh, in order not to endanger the precious life of Taraval the 82nd, I suggest that you go around. But that's too far. I've got an idea. Leo, maybe we should go around. Okay. Then like this. Tuba, just calm down. Try to stay still. Okay, I get it. I'm bored as well. I have an idea. Let's look for water on our own. Uh, but Kubor uh, was ordered to guard, uh, not to look. But you can still guard us on the way. Don't worry, we won't run off. Yeah, we won't escape. Don't you think Terrible will be happy with you if we find water? Happy with Kubor? Uh, yes, Kubor really wants that. It looks... it looks like a... Yes, 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 little one. That is the stone flower. But that's nothing. My uncle Pernululu the 68th, ruler of the great eucalyptus grove on the ocean, taught me a little nifty trick to handle even the very biggest wave. in the winter. Kubor is smart. Kubor will find water and bring back another eucalyptus. Where did you get the strength to be so ridiculous? Personally, I'm so thirsty. All I can think about is water. I'm just a koala, and koalas never drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. <gasps> Be quiet. Do you hear that? What can that strange noise be? Good job, Kuba. If the stones are wet, that means that water is nearby. It's a really big cave, and it's full of water. But the water looks very deep. Oh, but wait, I thought of something. Yay! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's it. It's the stone flower. But how do we get to it? Hey, you guys, I've got an idea. I need your 
your help. Bring me a piece of that magical rock. In my country, in the jungle, there is an abandoned village. I saw something just like this there. That stone flower! Boy, what's up? <laughs> no! It was your flower! And now it's ours! <laughs> you Give that back to us right now! Oh no, now our grove will most definitely dry out. Such a shame. <laughs> We've lost everything. <laughs> oh, I'm not worthy of my ancestors. <laughs> Water? Where's that coming from? Oh, what is this miracle? How did you manage to do this? This is your stone flower. <laughs> and a little hard work. Good work, girls. <laughs> but how did the map stated, without the stone, the water will not flow? Tig, you mixed it up. The map said the water doesn't flow under the stone. But koalas barely drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. Ah, and don't forget Kubor. He was a very big help. Oh, Kubor? <laughs> oh my goodness. As a reward, I will give you your own <gasps> eucalyptus. Yes. Hey, hey, make some wet rain. Ho, ho, give me water, stone, stone. Stone, stone. <laughs> Something isn't working. Hey, where's the water? <laughs> Maybe you're not doing the dance the right way. I've had enough of this dance already. What are you looking at? Well, hmm. I have no choice but to thank you. Dayan, behold our grove's eucalyptus gum. It is the stickiest in the whole wide world. Here we go, everyone. Full steam ahead. <laughs> Hey, Tasman, why are you looking at us like that right now? Mm, no reason. I'm just thinking about who I'm going to eat first. <laughs> what do you mean, eat first? <laughs> oh, my goodness. You should have seen yourselves. You were so petrified. <laughs> so, does that mean that you're not going to eat us? Who needs a bag of bones like you? Hey, look, land ho! Hoot hoot. Huh? Hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. The Paints of Africa. Interesting. What exactly is this place? That's why we're doing reconnaissance, Tig, to figure that out. I was just wondering. We always end up running into some really strange-looking locals. Animals that have beaks uh, uh, and birds. Some who fly and some who don't. So I wonder who we'll run into here. Maybe uh, some kind of five-winged duck-billed creature. You're a duck-billed creature, Tig. Hey, do you see these normal-looking hoof prints? It must be some kind of deer. Let's go and meet them. Enough fooling around. Go out there and find us something to eat. Ooh. Okay, fine. But what are you gonna do? I guess I'll keep an eye on Philin. Uh, and keep your eyes peeled. Figure out where stripes and spots have landed. A deer, you said. Ha! Look there. Spots just like yours. Maybe he's a strange leopard. Oh, <laughs> we have guests, Zako. Yeah, we have guests, man! I am pleased to meet you. Man. I am Jiro. And I'm not a leopard. I'm a giraffe. Man. This here is Zako. 
<laughs> and he's a parrot. We have gas! Ah! Nice to meet you. I'm Leo, and this is Tig and Kuba. What are you drawing up on that wall over there? That's such a big picture. We're not drawing, we're writing. You could say we're artists. We're artists! We're artists! We're writing! Zuffle. We're writing, 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 this writing, writing! This is called Sunrise in Africa. Ah, yes. Writing, writing, <laughs> writing, writing, writing! It isn't finished just yet. I hope that we're going to have enough paint in order to finish it. To finish it! Enough paint! Magical paint! Magical paint! Magical uh, paint! Zako uh, is asking if you are familiar uh, with the legend uh, of the magical paint. Mm, we know a lot of legends, but that one is new to us. Oh, well then. Come and sit down with us. Zako and I were about to take a break anyway. Enough for Zako! <gasps> Did you draw all those as well? We write, we write, we I write! Mean, did you write that? No, no. These are ancient drawings. Allow me to tell you all about the legend. A long time ago, when Africa was still quite young, a wildfire spread from coast to coast and turned this colorful land into a gray and scorched wasteland. It was a sad, sad time. Everything everywhere became bleak, all shades of gray. And then the spirit of the savannah gathered up the last of its strength and created a most magical paint. The animals painted our Africa once again, and nature came back to life. And that is the legend of the magical paint. So if these paints bring nature to life, if we draw ourselves some food, then we'll be able to feast to our heart's content. Hey, but then why didn't the painting come to life? Listen, do you have fur in your ears? The giraffe even said that his painting isn't even finished yet. Come on, before somebody sees us. Before someone sees, before someone sees. Milky, but why are you repeating what I just said? Did you hit your head or something, man? That wasn't me. Brad, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. <laughs> Not me. Oh, that means it's probably the magical paint talking to us. Magical paint talking, magical paint talking, talking. What? But that can't, can't be. Can't be, can't be. Hey, Spike, let's get out of here. Why are we still in one still piece? in one piece. But I think well, I might have heard piece. that voice somewhere today already. I recognize we it. We write and write and write and uh -huh. write. So someone was trying to scare us. Whoa. Gotcha, chatterbox. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, Milky, get the paints. Gotcha, chatterbox. What happened, Zako? Get the paint, Milky. Get the paint. Milky, Milky. The buttons. Those creatures took off with all of our paint. Took off with our paint, the magical paint. Red, red. We'll get your paint back for you. Red, hey, come red. back. You only think of yourselves. Come on, give back the paint. I'm telling you. <laughs> You'll have to catch us first. Right, get back here. <laughs> They're catching up to us. They're going to get us. <laughs> <laughs> Come to life. <laughs> and then Tasman will be able to eat it. You first. <laughs> Tasman doesn't want to break a tooth. One, two, three. Create the apple for me. It's nothing but regular paint. But, but it can't be. This, this is magical paint. Uh, I don't understand what happened. Spike, uh, maybe we need to say some magic words or something? Abracadabra! What is wrong with you, Milky? <laughs> you really are nuts! Uh, the legend mentioned the spirit of the savannah. 
Maybe we gotta ask it for help. What do we do now, Leo? Well, we have to bring back the magic paint. Uh-huh. But where do we even look for it? Good job, Kuba. You found some tracks. Oh, Spirit of Savannah, please bring this apple to life for us so that we may snack upon it. Oh, that must be it. The Spirit of the Savannah. Thank you for coming to us. Oh. Hey, the spirit looks just like Kubai, don't you think? Give us back the magical paint right now. Uh, we need it for ourselves. After all, we just painted an apple, as you can clearly see. Tasman, but what if it's a... However, Tasman will gladly exchange these very magical paints for any supplies you may have to offer. I'll exchange you, you thief. Give us that paint. I'll only exchange them for food. <laughs> Let's get out of here! <laughs> you... You won't be able to finish the painting. We tried, but we couldn't save the magical paints. The magical paints? But those paints weren't the magical paints. Magical paints! Wait, they weren't? Weren't magical paints! You mean you really thought that they were the magical paints from the legend? You mean they weren't? But of course not. That's nothing but a fairy tale. Fairy tale! Although it is true that we can't finish the painting now, we'll have to find a solution soon. <laughs> we can make new paints. In fact, you can help us. It's quite easy. All we need is just a little bit of imagination and a touch of inspiration and the most magical colors of Africa. with a sun-dried tiger. Leo, can you pass the bucket of water over to me, please? Tig, looks like we're completely out of water. Out of water? Like, completely, completely out of water? Oh, I'm just so thirsty. I'm really thirsty, too. Hmm. Now we've got to come up with something. <gasps> hey, you guys! Look over there! It's a river! <gasps> water! Water! Yay! Yay! Water! Yay! Well done, Lily! It's time to land! Oh, oh! Careful! Vines! Tig, more to the left! I can't move it! The oar seems to be stuck! Let's push. 
push together. And go! It's way too heavy. It won't budge. Take a break. And I, I really need something to drink. Yes, Tig. You're right. We need to get water. Let's go. Ugh. Ow! Ugh. There's so much wood just lying about everywhere. Tig, that isn't wood at all. It looks like, uh, it's some kind of tooth. That's it, a tusk. And a massive one. You mean that this is just a big tooth? But if this is only the tooth, then how humongous must its owner be? Oh! I wouldn't want to come across such a gigantic and sharp-toothed monster like that. Without a doubt, it would love to snack on leopards. Well, and tigers too. <gasps> <gasps> Help me! Are we really never gonna find a way to get out of here now? Leo and Tig will think of something, Lily. Just wait. You will see. Huh? What is huh? that? Save yourselves! A tusked monster is headed this way. It's massive with huge teeth and it's been chasing us. Quickly! Everyone inside! Does this m monster have th three legs? Yeah, and he also has 100 gigantic teeth. Tig, don't exaggerate. It's just two tusks, not 100. Uh-huh, but have you forgotten about that huge tusk that we found by the riverbank earlier? I bet that belongs to him as well. Oh, oh, I'm so scared. And his nose was so long. It was like the longest, longest vine you've ever seen. It was amazing. He probably uses it to track down his prey before he goes and grabs it. Oh, oh, quiet. Do you hear that? his tooth. I bet he's probably thinking that we dragged it away. Tig, we need to get him out of here, back towards the river. No way. I'm not doing that. Fine then. I'll do it myself. Hey! Tusked monster! I'm here! Catch me if you think you can! I'll show you where your tooth is! <laughs> Leo! Where are you going? Leo, come back here! Here we go again. What are you gonna do this time, Leo? Leo, wait up! I'm coming with you. Please stop! I need you to help me! There! Leo! Look out! Leo, he's gonna crush you with his giant foot! Run away! Leo! But what are you? Oh. Hey, you! Big monster, don't you dare try and squash my best friend, or you're gonna have to answer to me! Mm. Ah! 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 Mommy! Wait, Tig, I think you might need some help. Just look. You see? He has a splinter in his foot. Come on, let's help him out. Well, Lily? Do you see them? Not yet! I can't see a thing! Oh no! But where could they have gone to? Maybe the humongous monster has taken them. Ah! It's monster! 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 Ah! Right. 
left. One, two, three. And left, stop. One, two. <laughs> we have arrived. Don't worry, guys. It's just us. Come on. Check out our new friend. Leo, take. Allow me to give you assistance. There you go. Now everything is fixed. Yay! Hmm. So that's why he has the really long nose. I guess it isn't for hunting prey after all. It's so he can pick off branches for lunch. Uh-huh. That's it. <laughs> hey! Guys, I remembered something. My mom told me about an animal with a nose just like that. It is called a mammoth. Oh, great and mighty mammoth. Thank you so much for your help. Mammoth? <laughs> no, no, what are you saying? Mammoths are my distant relatives, but I've never seen them myself. Long ago, when fierce glaciers approached from the north, lived great beasts with long teeth, tusks. They were called mammoths. Mammoths weren't afraid of anyone. They were very strong. But they were also very kind. If anybody was in trouble, the mammoths would come to their rescue. But then one day, the mammoths mysteriously disappeared. Nobody knows exactly where they went. But to this day, their huge teeth can be found laying on riverbanks. And when people find them, they are known as Earth Teeth. So that means that the giant tooth that we found on the riverbank earlier was actually a mammoth's Earth Tooth? Ha <laughs> ha! That is correct. It is a mammoth tusk, kids. <clears throat> the tusk of a mammoth. And I'm not a mammoth. I am an elephant. <laughs> And you said he was a big, scary monster. As Mappa Pandiga once said, you must not judge people based on their first appearance. Those who seem to be scary at the very first glance might actually turn out to be some of your best friends in the end. See you later. Bye, Mr. Elephant. Thank you for all of your help. Goodbye and safe travels, my friends. I'm always happy to help. Ah. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Aha! I can finally see Spotty and Stripey's ship straight ahead of us. <laughs> we finally caught up to these guys. <laughs> we caught up! We caught up! After them, fly faster! Hoot, 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 hoot. The way home. Hey! Higher, Tig! A bit more! Martin, a little to the right! Oh. Oops! Sorry about that, Leo! All set! That sure looks good. Although, a tiger on the prowl wouldn't look bad at all. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> look over there! Lily! <laughs> Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> we took the special treasure over to the secret island. Why, thank you. My mind is much more at ease now, daughter. The ship already. Uh huh. <laughs> now we can fly back home. Back home to the tiger. I've missed it so much. <laughs> 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 oh no! 
Yara, what is it? It's the guiding arrow. It got left on the ship. The ship that Tasman took. Hmm, ah. Well, so much for the taiga. Tell me, my friends, what is this guiding arrow that you speak of? Well, it's not exactly an arrow. It's a shard from a magic stone. And the point always shows us which way we need to go to get back home. And without it... We can't return back home. That sounds like a compass. Hmm. Don't fret, my friends, because I can make a new compass for you. In the meantime, prepare for the journey. The king has been gone quite a while. Maybe he hasn't managed to find a way to make that thing, that compost. Compass? My dad knows what he's doing, Tig. You just have to be patient. Ah. See? What did I tell you? Wow! <laughs> uh, but how does this thing work? The pointed red end will always point to the south, and the blue end will point to the north. Your home is in the north. It's simple. <laughs> ah, now I understand. I got it. Thanks for that. Mm, yeah, I got it. That's a really good idea. The red end shows one thing, the blue end shows another. Which way does the blue end show? It shows us the way back home. You watch the blue end and you follow it home. Ah, and the red end? I'll explain it to you later. You can't see it from here. Compasses and flying ships. How come you know so much? I learned from the treasury of knowledge. A very long time ago, monkeys would share their knowledge by word of mouth. The best place to build a habitat, which herbs could be used to heal, how to protect against a drought, and many other very important things. But their knowledge grew and grew, and eventually the monkeys started to forget what they had learned. They couldn't hold all the information in their heads. Then one day, a wise old monkey came up with a bright idea for preserving knowledge. With the help of special pictures on several special boards, all of the special boards are kept quite safe on the secret island. That is how we acquired our wonderful treasury of knowledge. I learned how to make the compass from the information that was drawn on those special boards. I've got plenty of knowledge inside of my head. Should I draw it on the board as well? <laughs> Half a board would be more than enough for you, Tig. <laughs> uh, well, it sure has been a very interesting experience, good sir. Uh, what do you say, Milky? You ready to leave? Spike, don't you want to come along with us on the ship? That's okay, but thanks. We're used to Phil and flying us around. Mice? And anyway, if we go on that ship of yours, we would have to row. And we're lazy. Ugh, you guys are so hopeless. Yeah, you got a point about that. <laughs> well, anyway, I guess we'll see you back home. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, mice! <laughs> mice! <laughs> mice! <laughs> mice! <laughs> to go to. Well, I'm so glad that we became such good friends. Me too. We're all really glad. Take care, Lily. I'm really going to miss you. Well, bye, little princess. Don't forget about us. Lily, come and visit us anytime. Time for a snack. I can't see the forest yet. Don't worry, Tig. We've only been flying for two days. Oh, guys, look down there. It looks like our old chip. No, 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 no. No. 
No! 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 Now isn't that a lovely picture? Ah, someone save me! Uh, we have to help. Ah, you. Someone help! Ah, someone save me! What? But what happened? Thanks so much. Hey, you up there? Yeah, you. Hey, give me back my lunch. You could have just that left me down lunch. there. Especially after everything I've done to you guys. It's true, but we're not like that. But Tasman, how did you end up in the water? Well, after I took off and flew away from the monkeys, a huge storm hit, and I lost control of the ship. I ended up drifting into Antarctica. There, I was almost eaten by a leopard seal. And get this, I was saved by some penguins, and they didn't even ask for anything in return. Once I finally got the ship back up into the air, I set off in search of my native Australia. But the ship got caught in a storm over the ocean, which made it crash and fall apart. So if it wasn't for you guys, I would have been that orca's lunch of the day. Yeah, you do have a point. Tasman always laughed at those who would stop to help each other out, but now he understands just how important it is. I'm sorry for stealing the flying ship, and for everything else as well. I won't do it again. Shall we forgive him? We forgive you. <gasps> From now on, Tasman will always do his best to help others. I only ask one thing. Please take me back home. Hello, my little one. <laughs> oh, I miss you so much. <laughs> it's so good to be here. <laughs> I'm so happy, my little friend. Hooray! 